what's good YouTube people it's Elliot here from Neanderthal Fitness personal trainer fitness instructor YouTube fitness enthusiast uh, the website is www.neanderthalfit.com so do check that out um, okay so today's video is my number two video on my 90 day transformation obviously this didn't get off to a great start starting on a Friday having a shitty weekend so restarted the challenge as of yesterday so the time right now is 9.24 a.m. I uh, got up this morning uh, had a big old glass of water um, slept amazingly last night which I think is is down to um, and this is something that might get some controversy from you guys so let me know what you think in the comments below or message me or whatever but um, the the kind of the 90 day challenge that I'm doing at the moment just to get my body into shape is obviously in 90 days you can't build a massively appreciable amount of mass so I'm not going on a bulking phase even though we're heading into winter and this is totally the wrong time to try and get shredded up and cut up um, I, that's, that's kind of what I'm doing because the best way I can make myself appear more in shape and you know be more in shape is to lower that body fat percentage build as much muscle as I can at the same time but get that body fat down so that I got those abs on deck so one of the things I'm doing in relation to that and this is the point that I meant might get some controversy is that I'm giving myself a little bit of IF a bit of intermittent fasting now not through the day um, because I'm just one of those people who really relies on my food I love to eat and I get hungry every couple of hours uh, my metabolism is pretty quick probably why I've always been pretty skinny right so um, you know I, I like to eat a lot so what I'm doing is that age old don't eat late at night now a lot of people have dispelled this as a myth um, you know, and as long as you get your overall calories in, it doesn't matter what time of the day. If you're under, you're going to burn fat. If you're over, you are going to gain fat or gain weight. Um, and I guess to a degree that's probably true, but you've got to admit that there is something to do with meal timing. Because if that was the case, you know, I could go 365 days, right, no, 364 days, and not eat anything and then on the 365th day I could eat enough calories to maintain my weight for the year would I? no, fuck no, for those 11 months although I'd obviously die because you couldn't physically go that long um, you know I'd be losing weight, losing, 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 losing weight uh, because y you can't just say oh it doesn't matter when I get the calories in because I'll put them in eventually and therefore everything will stay the same. That's, that's frankly stupid because, you know, your body needs energy when it needs energy and your body will find and use the energy it has available to it when that happens. So between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. I'm not eating anything now. So my dinner has to be finished before 8 p.m. Um, and literally the only thing I'll have after that is water. So... Um, I'm just really just fasting for 12 hours and um, what that means is that although I don't do a great deal because for most of that I'll be sleeping and um, for the rest I'll probably be watching TV maybe have a few clients sometimes I have clients after 8 o'clock so I might be doing some work but in general nothing too strenuous um, so you know I don't need a load of carbohydrates right before bed um, and so I will hopefully be burning off fat through those 12 hours so the first couple of hours obviously not I'll be burning off my last meal but then as that energy drops off my body still needs to continue to run itself so it's going to eat into that fat reserve so that's the plan so I didn't eat anything post 8 p.m. and that is the best night's sleep I've had in a long time so too early at this point to say whether there's any correlation between those two because it's only one night it could have just been a random really good night's sleep but I slept well felt amazing this morning so I've got it gulped a big glass of water got my weights out here not in the gym till this evening today so um, you know did my workout for this morning here got some I got barbell and weights and stuff that you've seen in other videos um, didn't film it because I was in my boxers and I'm kind of formulating a secret little workout plan at the moment so you know for a long time I've preached about general health and fitness stuff on this channel now um, for what we've been operating for 
five, six months, maybe more. Um, and you know, just general health and fitness. So now branching out into you know really educating you guys about my brand of health and fitness. So what I believe is the best way to work out and the best way to eat. So with that in mind, I haven't filmed the workout today because everything's kind of staying under wraps until I see the great results. And once you see the results, then I'll tell you how you can achieve those results as well. Um, so yeah, I've got my workout in. Currently, I'm baking up some breakfast. So I've got the oven on. Um, it's cooking me down some courgettes and some tomatoes. Um, got myself a tin of mackerel in olive oil. Uh, ready to go in with that so we're going for the easy pre-cooked fish this morning um, so I'm gonna get my protein in gonna get my veggies in nothing else um, then I'm probably gonna have a snack of a handful of hazelnuts in a couple of hours um, and then lunch will be I think smoked sausage again and salad uh, and then tonight who knows so last night I did go slightly off the rails uh, I had a homemade pizza, which was a bit carb heavy for an evening meal, um, you know, on this new plan. So that would be the only time I do that. But the, you know, the other half, bless her, she has to put up with me changing my ideas about what I want to eat every couple of days. And as a result, you know, she'd already planned for this. But it was homemade pizza, so literally I made the dough myself. It was just flour, a uh, pinch of salt, two teaspoons of yeast, and some water. Um, so it was, you know, really not much to it. Yes, it was white bread flour, could have been better, but whatever. So we made that base, but it's tomato puree thinned down with some um, red wine vinegar um, and garlicky olive oil to make like a base. Spread that on, had courgettes, tomatoes, um, goat's cheese, uh, red onion and sweet corn. So pretty good, pretty healthy nothing too shitty on there anyway it was just the fact I had a whole pizza which probably wasn't the smartest idea but hey whatever so um, yeah so that's today's update check back tomorrow for more um, do please like the video if you like the video um, if you want to subscribe subscribe I will now be doing one video for the next 88 days so yesterday was the first today is the second so 88 days I'm going to do this big transformation uh, what 90 days in total big transformation video series and then everything will go back to normal from there I am going to change off from doing a Sunday video because I never seem to get a chance to get that up so I'm going to stick with the Wednesday video and you know let me know when you guys would like the other video to come up so at the moment two video not at the moment at the moment a video every day but then it'll go back to you know two videos a week unless the demand to continue daily videos is really great and then I'll you know keep that up or make it a bit more regular but for now it's just going to be the one video for 90 days really focusing on the content I'm providing to you guys so any comments are appreciated hit me up with those below um, and that's the video so see you tomorrow guys Mmm, vegetables and macro.